What we're going to do is make sulfur chlorides. This will be above the boiling point of the sulfur chlorides and they'll come through, hopefully. See, look on the edges there, liquids. Hell yeah. It's very, it's very like thin. All right, our yield is 35.2 grams of sulfur chloride. And we're ready for it today to, uh, yeah, react it with some ammonia. All right, I put a metric boatload of chlorine into this buddy solution. I'm a little stressed, a lot's going on. We expected to see a big smoke of ammonium chloride. That's exactly what we're getting. All right, now that the smoke is really pink now. <laughs> it pisses out this purple. When will it stop? <laughs> Finally done it. Finally reached the end point. The color's wrong. All right, here we are the next day. We've got our black goop. Well, it's not really goop, it's actually all dried out. All the toluene has been pulled off it. Interestingly, we do actually have some crystals of an orange substance down the bottom here. So this may be our end product actually, but we'll save this liquid, but it's a promising sign. It could also just be sulfur crystals, but they do look a little orange to be sulfur crystals. What next? Um, well, we have to wash this with a whole lot of water because it's got a whole lot of ammonium chloride in there. Get the speaker here, get it stirring. I'm just washing it for a couple minutes and put it back filtering through. I'll change out this flask with something else, but yeah. Oh, and it's worth having a smell update. It still reeks, but the smell is actually quite different. Before it was like a tire fire. It was quite acrid and uh, quite painful, but now it's more like pungent. It's, it's less like a tire fire and more like if your dog had really runny shit. Your dog's diet consisted of 50% tires and 50% normal food. Hey, that would be the smell right now. It's quite um, thick and, but still got that weird tirey kind of sulfury smell undertone. So. So after those washings were left with, not very much at all actually, um, hardly anything. But the good news is that the water that's coming through now is, is relatively clean. This is like the third wash. With that solid there, it was mostly ammonium chloride. Um, yeah, I, I, I think we might just go on to the next step with what we have here. If we get nothing out, we're gonna have to come back to this. And here is our exceptionally low amount of product at three grams. It's insoluble in water, really not much. We expect a lot more <laughs> than three grams, but I'm gonna go on to the next step anyway, which is soxylic extraction, which is great because it's it's not often you get an inorganic soxylic extraction, soxylate extraction. I still can't say it very well. I'm gonna use this little glass vial as a thimble. I'm just gonna put this actual whole thing in there. But we're gonna be running it with, as per the paper actually, we're gonna be running it with dioxane, dry dioxane, which is defrosting, because it's taking ages to defrost it. I think my chances of actually getting anything useful out of this is pretty low. Um, but if we come over to our toluene solution over here, look at this, look at that crystal. There's a few of them around. They might be sulfur, might be sulfur, but they might not be. What I'm gonna do is I just filter it, filter off all that um, weird sulfur at the bottom and then just let it slowly evaporate. I mean, that's the correct color, I think vaguely. Whereas this is green, which isn't even vaguely in, in, in the right you know, neighborhood of colors. All right, so I wasn't very optimistic that we're gonna get anything orange from our greeny black solid. Like, how are we gonna extract anything orange from it? But, 
Have a look at that dog sign. Look at that. That's beautiful. How cool is that? It's uh, so it's happening. I think it's working. <laughs> I don't know, this is, a, this is an odd experiment, isn't it? So it's a bit stupid, but I've just got some hot water there. Toluene solution is in there in the um, jar, and I've just got the aquarium pump here. So it's just slowly stripping the solvent off. All right, I cooled this down in the freezer after taking some solution off, and we have some beautiful crystals down the bottom. So I might quit where I'm heading and just get a few of those crystals out. Here they are. There's just some crystals I've crudely collected. I'll let them dry just a little bit more, and then we'll test it's pretty easy to test if they're sulfur nitride or if they're sulfur. Whoa! Alright, so we've actually done it. I feel like there's a big ray of light coming in from God saying like, congratulations. You've actually fucking done it. So we evaporated the toluene down just a little bit using the air pump. We got some crystals out. We saw that they were actually the sulfur nitride, or at least they were energetic. So what we did then is I just recrystallized from benzene. And this is our final, you know, it's not all the, I haven't recovered all of it, but here is our beautiful recrystallized sulfur nitride. While there's not heaps, there's actually more than enough for me to uh, do an explosion and fire video on them, test all the properties, shock sensitivity, you know, flame sensitivity, how it burns, slow motion shots, all that kind of stuff. I've actually already done a lot of those shots, so um, we did have more product. I just forgot to film this section before uh, getting excited. Evaporating the toluene layer down further just gives us a whole lot of sludge. Tar, basically. Of course there's tar. I reckon we could probably do a workup and get a little bit more product out. I think there's some even some crystals in here, but it, at this point, you know, there's probably heaps of sulfur in here. It's a bit weird, and it smells awful. The final sulfur nitride doesn't actually really have a, have a big odor to it, but this a mixture of uh, toluene and the weird sulfur chloride almost smell and, and the sulfur, so we're gonna really put that away and, and not bother with too much with that. This is some more uh, toluene, but it had some water at the bottom. You can still probably see the water layer, a tiny bit of water at the bottom, and, and that looks like it's decomposed the sulfur nitride over time, because at the bottom there's just big bits of sulfur. So my theory is that uh, the sulfur nitride in contact with water over a long period of time would just decompose. So when you've got the toluene and the water sitting together, which is what I separated off the water before um, evaporating it down in, in, in that jar there, which is the difference between these two. So yeah, so the sulfur nitride does, is not really that stable in, in uh, connection with water. So, However, the actual, the final product, once it's dry, is all, is all very stable in air. Um, at least I haven't seen it de to decompose, you know, over a week or anything like that. So it seems uh, uh, very stable once it's all dry. But finally, we get to the dioxane. We spent a long time on this part of the procedure because we had to make the dioxane, dry the dioxane really well. Then we had the whole um, soxylic extraction but really I, I, I don't think we've got anything out of this it looks there's a little bit of powder at the bottom which I've just you know stirred up so we're not gonna see that but it all just looks like sulfur it's very yellow so you know yellow can bad the product is so orange that you think you know anywhere there's the orange there's the product so this really doesn't have any product in it. it's just really just sulfur which I think it makes sense because all uh, sulfur nitrate actually dissolved in the, the toluene solvent so um, when we had all that residue, it was really just mostly sulfur left over. So it was fun doing the, the extraction, and I'm not really that mad that we got nothing out of it because we actually ended up with the final product. If we hadn't, I would be flying into a, an inconsolable rage given how much work we put into doing this. But we got our final product. This was a waste of time, but hey, it doesn't matter. We got our final product. We can, we can uh, enjoy that bit. <sighs> Sorry, I just accidentally filmed this side of the room which has all my dirty glassware still, but well like some, like a small fraction of my dirty glassware. But like this, have a look at this. This is the stuff I have to clean. This, it smells awful and it's just so weird. This of course was a Patreon project, uh, a very long Patreon project. Well, not that, not as long as most of my projects, honestly. But yeah, thanks a lot to my patrons for supporting me. If you want to check out my Patreon, it's down below. Just donate a little bit, you can have a look at what my future projects are going to be. I'm generally pretty open about it anyway, but I can, I, you can easily see what I'm working on exactly now in terms of long-term projects. And I'll see you next time. We did it. We actually fucking did it.